Joining me now is Ken Rickey, who is a member of the class of 1978 and a member of the Notre Dame Board of Trustees, and he just flew in from Phoenix. Just a few months ago, Ken received the Living Legends of Aviation Lifetime Aviation Entrepreneur Award out in Hollywood, an honor he shares with the likes of Sir Richard Branson and FedEx founder Fred Smith. Ken's life story is a Notre Dame story, and Ken, it is just a delight nice to, to have see you. you. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Thank you for doing this. Coming in. So, Let's start in Cleveland. How did you get to Notre Dame? Well, I had a Catholic education. You've probably heard that story a thousand times. <laughs> yeah, just a um, few. The, you know, my father was a government employee, though, and so a lot about coming to Notre Dame was uh, aspirational, but I needed financial help to get here also. And um, I got here through, through the Air Force, through, the ROT, through an ROT, ROTC program. And is that how you got interested in aviation? I would think so. Yeah, I mean, but 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 it was practical. And I yeah. said, if I have to, you know, if you have to get a scholarship in, some, in something, learning to fly is a great thing to get a scholarship in. Yeah. <laughs> and what a what a business it has turned into for you. Did you, when you were a student at Notre Dame, did you see yourself as an aviation mogul? And, and no, not at all. In fact, I'll tell you a story. My dad was always, when I got here to school, uh, my dad was always important to find your passion. In fact, there's a, a, a cute little story when, you know, like the drop-offs drop -offs go, and it's always tearful, and uh, my mother was crying. You know, I'm an only child, so, you know, off he goes. And my dad, so I was in Morrissey Hall, and my mom said goodbye, and she kind of walked up the, up the hallway, and my dad came to me, and he said, you know what I want you to do at Notre Dame? I want you to find what you're passionate about. I want you to leave here really wanting to do something that's important to you. So leave here having found that, and he gave me a big hug and he walked away. Of course, my mom didn't want to be outdone with profound advice. So <laughs> she walked back down the hall and said to me, and don't get any diseases. <laughs> and uh, I'm proud to say I made it through Notre Dame without any diseases. <laughs> Very glad to hear this. You have been extraordinarily generous sharing your personal success with the university and in particular with the band. Mm -hmm. Because you, one of your passions aside from flying is the Notre Dame Marching Band. Uh -huh. Well, my father was a musician, and um, he was in World War II, and during the war, he actually never went overseas. He played in the band in San Francisco, and he would tell the story to me, because I always thought, should you, you know, you didn't go, in, you didn't fight in the war, or you're in San Francisco, and he said, no, are you kidding me? He said, I was the soundtrack of that war for so many soldiers that went over there, because we tried to play modern songs, and we tried to leave them with a soundtrack, and if you think about it, the Notre Dame band is such a soundtrack for what we experience at, at Notre Dame. Um, the, we all will know the fight song. The mm -hmm. alma mater all has special meaning for us. In fact, there's even the, there's the movie Airplane. I don't know if you ever remember that movie, but they even play the Notre Dame fight song in that movie, <laughs> which is the only reason I remember it, because in there is the Notre Dame fight song. <laughs> oh, well, Ken, thank you so much. And the Ricky uh, Band Building is named, at, named after your dad, Yeah, after my right? father, the musician. Oh, right? well, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's it so is. good for you to come. Uh, thank you so yes, much thanks. for coming up here. I'll see you in a couple of weeks we'll when we all weeks. get together. Thank you.